Welcome back to our ongoing Office 365 series. Today we talked about site collection. Uh, now we are going to talk about the InfoPath. InfoPath is real simple. It's real small. Uh, basically, uh, these options you can see it's all about the forms and the boats. Like there, there are boats that crawl the internet and find information about the uh, web pages sites what they're about what what services they're offer so everything related to websites it's like rather than a go here rather than a human have a look at that page and then type it in what that page is about they have boats like you see MSN boat there MS search Microsoft search Google boat office like office boats they crawl or crawler so basically they they, they crawl the web they are jumping from page to page and noting down what it is and so these are uh, the template form template is do you want to allow users to create templates on that in the websites in that info uh, in SharePoint that uh, is browser enabled like people can interact with them at uh, fill a form and hit submit do you want render form tablets that are browser enabled by user so users are like the end user so even if this the browser does not support it but if you put in the info path info path is that even even uh, if it's an older browser it will still work because they have info path in it so you really don't have to do it it's a uh, like you really don't gonna do it because you are just you will be told can you enable or disable this and that's all it's about the web programmers they know in detail what it like XML XML it's a uh, form scripting uh, language for websites so you can customize the list of ex exempt user agents user agents like we talked about like uh, there are crawlers and boats all that so basically uh, you will be asked or told by a web programmer or somebody to enable or disable that's that will, will be all you will not be doing any of the programming or coding so if this video has helped you please rate comment subscribe and share and see you in the next one